coming to you live on your chin. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> this is the Going Deep Show. Holy shit! I'm going to tell you like this. If you don't shut your ass up, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. Do you understand me, you crazy fuck? Fighting for the powers of evil because good is dumb. Hi, guys. It's me, the kid. It's time for going deep. Joining me as usual. As usual. Fiona, what's up? Uh, I don't care what anybody says. That shit's funny. <laughs> How's it going over there? We're both sick. We're both feeling terrible. Feeling like dog fucking shit, but... Doggy do. We roll on. We sound good. I kind of sound... I kind of like how I sound right now. Sounding kind of... I do. I want to Sensual put, and whatever. Let me go regular here. Let's try it. Let's see if I can do this. It's sexy time, babies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's time for Echo. Echo. <laughs> echo, motherfucker! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. That's how it is, beeps. Today's episode of the show, we're going to play some clips. Since our voices suck, we got to get everybody else to do our jobs for us. So we're going to play some clips. We're going to recap an amazing week that we had last week. We were sick of shit. We still had the fucking best time on the goddamn planet. Holy fuck yeah. It was so fucking good last week. Mm. Might as well just kick off with that because we're excited about it and everything. Oh my God, yes. So I was really fucking sick after St. Patty's Day. And I was like, oh goddamn, this is going to fucking suck. Because we had a couple of really good shows to go to. So we saw Corn mm. on a hump day. So yeah. Hump day Corn. That was corn. actually fantastic. And like I, you know, I knew I was going to have a good time because I love those guys fucking forever since I was a little kid. But fucking... You know, we're sitting there and we're listening to Chevelle, and they're pretty good, you know, like whatever. We, didn't, I didn't, whoever the fucking opener was, but goddamn, Chevelle just was loud as fucking shit to me. They like pierced your ears. It was so fucking loud. I mean, they, yeah, they played a couple of songs that I that I remember, and I didn't really, I don't know, whatever. Yeah, it was okay. It was yeah, fine. It, was, it was fine. It was fine. But then nothing was like that corn, <gasps> that cornhole show. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, as soon as those fuckers. Fucking as soon as their shit started, just fucking I just like I just everybody fucking off their uh, on their fucking feet, out of their seats, fucking goddamn, just ah, oh! instantly thrown back in time. Just so good. It was great. So fucking good. It was. And then I, I I've been playing some music for uh, my kid has heard corn for a long time, at least at least two and a half three years. I mean I say that's a long time, but she's only been on the planet for thirteen of the years. So. Mine have been listening to the shit since they were in utero. I'm just. To be honest, like I've never not played that shit. I don't play kids bop in my goddamn no, vehicle. No, no, no. <laughs> don't no, do it. Because uh-uh. my kids aren't gonna be fucking pussies. No, we're gonna listen to real corn. Okay. <laughs> not C O R N. No, no, not. We're gonna listen to real corn. We just eat creamed corn here in our house, Pookie Bear. <laughs> <laughs> That's no, my that new pussy nick- shit. That's my new nickname. I cannot. Pookie bear. Po- <laughs> corny, corny, warny. Corny in your poopies. Yeah, cor- yeah, exactly. What is it about that? How does corn manage? I think I chew it all. <laughs> as far as I know, I'm chewing all this shit. And it just doesn't want to get. No, I think we're not paying attention. We're just swallowing a bunch of it Boop. fucking whole. <laughs> Swaller. Swallowing it through our cornhole. Just fucking swallow the corn and then poo it out the cornhole. <laughs> we we weren't sag enough for this show. Did you happen to notice there were some brothers behind us rocking? Yes, I did. I loved that. Rock was, the fuck out, man. I've I've only been I've only known a f- very very few brothers or sisters. Nah. As they say, I did. I turned rocking. around. I looked up. I was like, "What the fuck? Hell yeah!" He had the dreads kicking and everything. He was like, just his whole head was just swaying. Hey man, why not? There's so many fucking whiteies that like the fucking you know dark music. Yeah, yeah, it has to work both ways. That would be me included. I love me some dark music. <laughs> Darky McDarkertons. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> but, but one thing I did notice, uh, I posted a video on Instagram of us. And my kid, what is it about them not wanting to, I want to capture the moments, you know, and get all the... Oh, oh they're too cool. Yeah. They're too fucking I, cool. I don't get it, man. It's like, you're you're cool, but when you're older, you're going to wish to God you, that you had some proof that you were at these shows besides the t-shirt I bought you. It's $40 fucking t-shirt I bought you. Yeah, I, I get the whole point behind that, but like, my cheapskate ass fucking no fucking way. Well, no, just I'm talking about like her having some... some some kind of memorabilia. Where it's us memory. together and stuff. She never gets a picture taken with me anymore. I'm just a big piece of shit. Well, she'll grow out of that and then she'll wish she would have had him. Fuck. Fuck Believe me. Shit. 
Believe me, now that my dad's dead. Yeah. And she, hopefully she doesn't wait until you die. Way to, way to cheer everybody up here. <laughs> I thought you said it was a good week. Why are you crying? Because your daughter doesn't take a picture with you, you fucking faggot. <laughs> Kid, get your fucking balls out of here. Whoever's person. Fucking right now. get your head out of your ass. Jesus Christ, My man. God. With these fucking feelings and bullshit. Feelings suck, man. I hate having them, by the way. I'm pretty much fucking done with feelings. I'm good. I want... You know, the thing is, you you, you say that, but you still want them. Yeah, but I'm okay without them right now. You, you, you want them with, with, with the right scenario, the right situation. Yeah, apparently that's just not in my fucking cards, and I'm okay with that. It's because it's hotter when it's not supposed to be done. <laughs> that's what it is. You're not supposed to do that. Why do I want to fucking do it? Then? I mean, that's not that's not like too far. From it's so true. true. It's so true. <laughs> that's that's that's, that's, that's that's not wrong. That, that's the only explanation for like any time you were in a church and you were like grab ass and shit. I used to grab ass and do all sorts of dirty shit in the church. You know why? Because you're not so fucking supposed to. It's true. I never did that in the goddamn church. I always waited until I stood outside the fucking church. You wonder how many times? You wonder how many times somebody's got blown in church? Oh, I wouldn't doubt that there are. I wouldn't doubt that there are plenty of those times. Yeah. There are people getting blown in church right now as we speak. <laughs> They're like, oh, I'm in the, I'm in the, I'm in the, I'm in the gurgle, gurgle. <laughs> Peace be with you. <laughs> Peace of me be with you all over your face. Bukaki. So, how do we trump our corn concert? We did it. We did it. The very next day, we go see the fucking Eagles. And I want your thoughts as we're walking onto that floor of the of the, to get down to the to the main level there. To get that uh, take that elevator down. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It was like, oh, we're going to a, like a like a like a special place, and it's not between my legs. That's the special place, everybody. <laughs> the one and only. No, we took the elevator down to the main floor, and I knew right where the tickets were, so I'm like, okay, yeah, I know where we're going now, once I saw the floor and shit, but man, where we sat. That was, was so fucking was good. Fucking phenomenal. And I think you you had the same thought process I did. They have the screens where everything is so huge, mm-hmm. that it was hard not to look up at the screens when they were like right there. Well, they're, they are. They are. They're right in front of you, but like, if you look at the screens, obviously, you're going to get like more detail and you're going to see a lot more than what you would see because you're not like right up close like you're not like front row you're a couple back what are we 10th 10th row yeah that's fucking close as fuck but like you look up at the screen so you can see a little more detail then on top of that they like do you know some of the graphics in the show and the graphics in the show are amazing i've always wanted to do that stuff it'd be just something phenomenal to do i want to tell everybody though though this is something very super special when he goes to the to a concert, be prepared. She's going to have the titties on point, okay? <laughs> These fucking titties were on blazing. You had the glitter shit, glitter shirt going. Oh, yeah. You had the whole situation going there. And I have not seen that many guys, because I, I let you walk ahead. I'm not, a, I'm not Mr. Rude in that way. I try to be courteous. I usually let, would, would let you walk ahead of me, you know? Mm. And, uh, man, there were some fucking rubbernecking guys that were, just like whoa, just rubber necking you. Yeah, you got those. You had those, those fuckers pointing right out there, showing them off. You got them, flaunt them. Well, I mean, here's the thing. I mean, like, I got to wear a turtleneck, and I'd probably get some reactions. But hello, there was no turtlenecking going on in this. <laughs> there was so much less than fucking. Yeah, yeah. It was it was great. It was great cleavage, is what it was. There was a dude who sat directly in front of you when they when they first arrived. He he almost slowed down him t- taking off his jacket just so he could like go back longer. I was watching him, <laughs> watching him do it. Yeah, it was. You, Wait, so, the one with the wife that was talking to me. She was a nurse yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. I actually didn't notice him doing that, but that's fucking funny. The thing about it is, guys don't have these special powers. Guys don't have boob powers like this. We guys, I can't. There's nothing I can do. Not any one little secretive like clothing wear i can't like wear a v-cut shirt or something i can't just, what what can i possibly do nothing well, guys you don't have to do anything guys don't have the, anything <laughs> to like to to enhance ourselves in the way that women do though you know mm-hmm. i beg to differ a little bit 
Stuff a big old fucking sausage down my pants or do, something. Do you have to? Walk around. No. A little sausage vest down no, there. No, no. You, you know the whole thing about like the gray sweatpants, like the fucking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Bitches are all about the fucking. And what is it about the gray sweats? I Mar- don't fucking it's know. It's because Marky Mark wore them, I think. I say this all the time. It was like a video with Marky Mark. How are we? T- how do we go from the Eagles to Marky Mark? Let's swing back to the Eagles. I don't fucking know. We're talking about my boobies. <laughs> <coughs> we veer off topic for Christ's sake. No, the Eagles were outstanding. They were just absolutely amazing. They've got <clears throat> more shows coming up. I looked. They've got a couple in Pennsylvania, one in Ohio, one in Wisconsin, a couple on the west side of the country, and then after that, they're uh, out of the United States. Like, where's the Ohio show at? Uh, I think it's drivable. I, uh, I'd go see him again. Pennsylvania is drivable. Yes, it is. New York's drivable. Ohio's drivable. I fucking a right. I would. Dri- I would go see him again. I would go see him again. They Absolutely. Were that, they were that fucking good. Yep. The that 2022 fucking, fucking tour. I looked it up. The next fucking the next couple shows are just south of us. Two of my favorite songs, I think, of all time. Life's been good. Life in the fast lane. And, li- and life in the fast lane. No, but life's been good by Joe Walsh. Yeah. That song and life in the fast lane are the two songs that are just like I I as I hop in, in the car almost on a, da- a daily basis. The lyrics to these songs are in my head. They so. opened with my lifelong favorite. That's the thing that blows my mind. Like they fucking they they fucking came out of the gate fucking huge. Mm hmm. Just yeah. fucking huge. So is, I want to ask you about this because sometimes I, I go to concerts with people and they're like, kid, I don't know if I like it that you know the songs that are all coming up and everything. And I go, to me, I, I love that. I know that. I, know. I think that it's great, actually, because then you are ready to like, OK, so they're going oh, they're to go off stage. No, they're going to come back. You know they're gonna come back. Mm-hmm. Yep, they got four more songs. You know, to they go. Got all these people fucking like getting their shit on and getting ready to fucking leave. And we're sitting there like, all right, next. Yep. And you know when the video, like when Corn was coming up, I'm like, okay, they're gonna play y'all on a single. Here mm-hmm. it comes, mm-hmm. you know, or any of the songs that you wanted to hear. This has come in handy when you need to take a piss. Yeah, because there's like three songs you may not want to hear. I'm like, here's where I'm gonna take a pee. As soon as they're halfway through this song, I'm gonna go take a piss. I'm gonna come back and catch the rest of the show. Yep. You know, but with the Eagles, you don't. That was one of the most entertaining things about it. They get done playing Hotel California, the entire album, and then uh, Don Henley comes out. He's like, you know, give mad props to the orchestra and the choir and yeah. all the people. Yeah. And then he says something about. We're gonna take an intermission. We're gonna take a little break here because. We think yeah. some of y'all out there have to pee, but he like points at him. He points at the. He yeah. points at the on stage. It was just yeah, it was pretty good. I've always got this vibe that he could be kind of a prick. From the but he I don't know man I just I I've heard stories, but I don't know. Didn't seem like that though. He just seemed like a fucking professional up there, man, just doing his shit. Oh, all of them. They were all fucking on it. They were there was not one fucking misstep. Mm mm. Just fucking perfect professional. Perfect. And tell everybody who filled who was who was there instead of uh, Glenn passed away. Glenn fucking Fry. Vince Gill. Yeah. Vince Gill. It was just Jesus insane. fucking Christ. Yeah, I, I was. Uh, I went to work and I was telling. Uh, I was telling um, certain somebody that we know that knows somebody we know about it, and uh, she's like, she's like, oh, you had a good time. I'm like, yeah. And Vince Gill was uh, in for Glenn Fry, and she's fucking her jaw dropped. She's like. <gasps> That's so I'm so jealous. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah. I'm the jealous. whole show is just absolutely outstanding. I cannot even. It was like <laughs> surreal, and it was the fastest three hours I think I've ever had in my life. Yeah, like the songs were just one after the next, after the next, after the next, and you knew the lyrics. You were singing along. Everybody in the crowd. It was like I've never been in a crowd where there's that many people. Twenty eight fucking songs. Just vibing that way. Everywhere you looked, man, people were just like out of their element. They were just like not even in the. They, it was like they were the only people in that room with, mm-hmm. with that band. Yep. I think that's how I felt a lot, too. You forgot the other people around you until you actually like looked away and saw them feeling the same way. How many times did I turn to you and go, like, dude, I have not been this happy in so long? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That was good. So fucking. That was. You'll, it'll, it'll go down in your in your brain as like the long term fucking memory that you will know. You'll be demented and you'll never fucking forget it. Never forget that show. Absolutely fucking not. No doubt. And and on the way out, you were like, um, I don't think there's going to be another band that I will ever see that has that set list that's going to compete with that. There's not. No fucking way. No. Nope. No fucking way. No fucking way. I mean, there might be some that are, you know, probably. But no. Uh-uh. Just the longevity, the great, the great songs. And 
not to go over this too many times, but man, just the way that they would swap out lead singing. Yeah. They would jump onto in each instruments and things and Joe Walsh playing and with yeah. he's got his fucking that little voice thing that he puts into the, the tube in his mouth and oh the mouth guitar it was the mouth guitar it was just god shit was damn fucking it. amazing the god two of them damn. doing it next to each other son of a bitch yeah yeah I was just oh god I can't even fucking yeah I can't even just I'm still just fucking blowing my mind nothing's gonna beat it nothing we ever do after this is gonna be no no there's in no fact, there's gonna be a comparison <coughs> I did get some tickets coming up here in the next 10 days we're gonna go see Jack White next and still I'm, not gonna compare no. Jack White's the shit Jack White's gonna be great I listened to his set today except it was from like last year's show so I guess he's got a new album coming out and stuff like that so it's oh. gonna be different everything's gonna be changed but it's you know it's a good time it's gonna be good either way going to see live music is just fucking something it just is there's something yeah. about it that like you said I hope that it, it didn't occur to me until we were eating tonight and I said Man, I should create a playlist for when I do get dementia. So all those songs that I love can be like new to me again. Because when you hear a song that you haven't heard for a long time, that's the feeling you get. You just throw them back in time and you, you get that. But when you really for, have forgotten it because you're so fucked up in the brain, hearing it again for the first time, and like, oh. I had a dementia patient when I did hospice that was into, that was into marching bands. His big thing, he, I, I fucking, whatever. His big thing was like marching bands. Marching bands. Marching bands. His biggest was was University of Michigan. Oh, yeah. And so, like, one day I fucking turned on, like, something from one of the games, and he just, like, his fucking eyes lit up. He was, like, sitting there, like, just drooling and fucking staring off into space. Fucking <laughs> eyes lit up, and he looked right the fuck at me. I'm not even fucking shitting you. It was amazing. Music is, like, it's it's been called the universal language, and it really is. It was awesome. It was a great week. I was glad to spend it with you. I called you the beavis to my butthead. That's God pretty much right. what it is. <laughs> yeah, it was a good time. I can't imagine, I can't imagine hanging out with somebody else besides you doing that shit and having a good time. Uh, I want to play some clips here. I got some stuff just to kind of lighten it up a little bit since we were talking all serious and, you know, oh, oh, yeah. we're having these emotional moments of... <laughs> it was. It, there were people... I mean, do you remember? There were people in the crowd there that were just like losing their fucking minds like they were just waving their hands around and just going nutty and you know they were just out of it it was just out of their element man it was fucking great nothing's more entertaining than watching someone who's really fucking into it like those motherfuckers at corn holy fuck they're fucking sitting there uh, fucking <clears throat> that one headbanger on the left hand side of the stage with that long long fucking ass hair. fucking hair I'm like <laughs> Jesus Christ like your neck is gonna fucking suck later trust me I was curious about that too because, like, I always wanted to see how my kid racks with when I remember when I saw Three Dog Night with my parents, the first concert I saw as a kid, kid, Mm -hmm. literally young kid, you Mm -hmm. know. And my mom, when they came out on the stage and they started playing, she was just lost her mind. Like, they're like, she was dancing and jumping around, doing all sorts of shit, right? So I was like, okay. I said, I get that, you know, I don't, I never, I didn't, as a kid, when you see that, you don't quite get it. Mm hmm. But then when you're an adult now, when your corn comes out and we're freaking just going fucking nuts, Fuck jumping yeah. around. Oh, yeah. I was like looking over at my kid and seeing how she was doing, you know, what she was up to. And you could see her kind of like jamming a little bit, a little bopping. Oh, yeah. But, so, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's fucking good shit. Yeah. I loved I was laughing. They're like, I, I learned this. I, li- I listen to this song. I know this one. Well, I know this one. Like they must have listened ahead of time so they could like get to know some of the shit. Yeah. I just think that's kind of that's kind of fun. I, I well, I mean, since like I said, I get the playlist and shit all set up so I can, you know, play them when she, I take her to school and all that stuff. And she knows she knows some Jack and things, so we're gonna be good. It's gonna be good coming up. Uh, I want to play this clip. This is one of my a lot of a lot of things in this world remind me of you, and this is definitely a clip that reminds me of you. This is of one of the f- best golfers on the planet, John Daly, and. He just kind of sums up life, really. Let's, this is him describing himself to somebody here. No, let me see. It's going to fucking open up. Okay, here we go. Let's see here. You're going to love this. You can't drink like me. This is us. This is you, Fiona. When I think of you, if you're, if you're, if you're a male golfer, this is you. <laughs> here we go. You can't drink like me. You can't smoke like me. And I guarantee your dick's not as big as mine. You can't fuck like me. So don't try and be like me, motherfucker. <laughs> Get your shit straight. 
and fucking let's party together, you cocksucking motherfucker. <laughs> That's me. Yes. What do you think of that? I thought of you when I saw that. Summed right up, motherfucker. Very heartfelt. That's <laughs> it's very um inspiring. It is. Yeah. I'm gonna make a video <laughs> for when, like, I don't know, what the, I don't know why my mind's been thinking about this lately because, but yeah, I think it's because you were talking about dementia earlier. I'm like, this is the kind of video that I would play at Fiona. Quite right. At Fiona Memorial. Here it is. This is her. I'll play it one more. Let's play it one more time, just so everybody can get a get a really. Pay attention to what we're saying here, okay? You can't drink like me, you can't smoke like me, and I guarantee your dick's not as big as mine. You can't fuck like me. So don't try and be like me, motherfucker. <laughs> Get your shit straight and fucking let's party together, you cocksucking motherfucker. <laughs> That's me. I love the guy in the background just fucking losing his shit. My fucking favorite. Clearly he's fucking <clears throat> clearly he's fucking hammered, which oh, makes me even happier. Yeah. It's fucking hammer time is right. I have another clip here, uh that is something that people are you know, with genders, how many goddamn fucking genders do we got now? How many fucking this, how many of that? This white <laughs> this white I dude. To see this. this white dude here. He is now a black guy. And he did this during Black History Month, which makes it even better. <laughs> Listen to this motherfucker. I'm black now, day 30. A month ago, I came out identifying as transracial, going from Caucasian to African American. According to the law, race is a self identified characteristic. Race is not based on science, biology, genetics, or anthropology. Facebook Gaming chose to call this hate speech. They said my transracial identification was going against the spirit of Black History Month. Everything changed when black celebrity Charlemagne the God came out with a video supporting me. It's Black History Month. Jerry picked the right month to announce this. Okay, what is Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said, an injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. What's happening to this man who identifies as black is an injustice, and it's happening because he identifies as black. Jerry wrote on Facebook, you heard him, if a man a woman can suddenly decide to change their genders and be fully supported in this transition, then I absolutely can make the same decision for my race. I'll tell you what, Jerry, you got me there. Awesome. <laughs> this could be great. <laughs> so I'm going to plan ahead Holy fuck. for when it's Women's History Month. I want to identify I'll, as Ethiopian. I'm going to be a woman soon. Can you believe that shit? <laughs> as long as it benefits me, I'm going to do it. Why not? You know? 100%. I don't think they can argue that, no. No, you can Nobody can argue that. Fuck them. No. Fuck them. No, uh uh-uh. Fuck arguing. Fuck that. that. Fuck that. I think it's wonderful the world we live in now. Everyone has to include everyone in it. You can be whatever you want to be. I want to be everything. Right now, I want to be a drunken fool. I am everything. (laughs) I'm every woman. It's all in me. Our next clip. Our next clip is very good for... For people who are working from home still. I think I related to this one. This guy really, if you're working from home, you're going to relate to this shit. <laughs> Let's see here. It's a big black guy. He's got beers. The only thing stopping this weekday from feeling like a weekend is you. Go grab that drink. Go get hammered. You only got one life. You might as well enjoy it. You can make any day feel like the weekend if you drink hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes what? yes sir why are they still all over good ideas <laughs> <laughs> apparently we're not the only ones that think of these things <laughs> there needs to be like a forum somewhere for people not like us <laughs> <laughs> but for some people who can relate to it who will admit to themselves that you know Maybe you're having a drink or two during the middle of the day. Why the fuck not, you know? So they make drinks go in your mouth at all hours of the day, and there's no there's no discriminating against that. In fact, I'm going to make it so that my, whatever I would identify as, will always think it's like 5 p.m. So. <laughs> <laughs> I identify as a, bro- as a broken fucking clock, yeah, as exactly. a, a broken wristwatch. <laughs> I was going to carry like an air horn like that you would hear at the end of a work day. Like it's the end of the day horn, whatever. The, like on the Fred Flintstone movie oh, TV yeah. show when he slides down the dinosaur and yeah. shit. I want to slide right. down a dinosaur. Right. 
<laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. I, I love your yeah. t-shirt. That makes me think of your t-shirt. Fucking Christ on a dinosaur. Oh, I love that Christ on <laughs> dinosaur t-shirt. <laughs> There's nothing better than that. <laughs> oh, that's so good. <laughs> All right. This next clip, I saved it, and I have no idea what the fuck it is, but it says a perfect husband. This is going to be a good one, I know, because I wouldn't have saved it if it wasn't. Let's play this and see what we got. What the fuck? Why not do it on the fly? Let's go here. What's this one say? Oh, hey, honey. I just got home from work. You have a house project for me to work on? Awesome. I love working all day and then coming home and working all night as well. Nothing I'd rather do every single night than work on some more work. I love when you tell me how to drive. It makes me feel super safe. Plus, I've been in zero accidents and you've been in four just this year. So you're totally qualified to tell me how to drive. Hi, honey. Yes, so glad you called. I actually was just thinking about how much work I have to get done today, and I could totally use a call from my wife. No, I love giving you a back rub while you cry. I'm actually really glad that you've rejected all six of my solutions I proposed. The best option is just to keep crying about it. You're doing a great job with directions. Keep forgetting to tell me where to turn and which exit to take. It's super helpful. Hey honey, I'm just looking at the bank statements. I love that you are spending $9 on a drink at Starbucks every day. There's no way you could make the same coffee for a fraction of the price here at home. <laughs> yes, I would like to hang out with your family instead of my friends. They're way too fun anyways. You constantly gasping and pointing out things while I'm driving makes me feel super uneasy, which I love. You called me to tell me that you went through the drive through instead of going into Starbucks today? Wow, what riveting information. Glad that that couldn't have waited until tonight. Wow, thanks for cooking dinner again tonight. Yes, it was a little burnt, but I love eating burnt food. There's nothing more I'd rather eat than a burnt piece of lasagna. No, I don't have a secret stash of food in the garage for when you burn dinner, and I'm definitely not about to make up an excuse to go out to the garage so I can indulge in that secret stash of food. Nope. You know what? You're right. We should remodel the kitchen again. We've only done it three times since we moved in. I'm getting sick of these brand new countertops as well. I would love to watch The Bachelor instead of Monday Night Football tonight, especially because everyone on that show is super rational and doesn't need any therapy. No, 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 keep rambling on about your sister. I would love to spend another half hour listening to you talk about the same thing over and over again. <laughs> Work can wait. You saw Chip and Joanna Gaines do the same project in three days? That should be no problem since we both have the same access to tools, help, and resources to get the project done. You want to go to Target tomorrow night? Of course I'll go with you. I don't care about Tuesday night poker with my guy friends that I've been doing every Tuesday for the last 10 years. I'd much rather go to Target than have my freedom. <laughs> yep, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, can't believe she said that. Of course I would love to do the dishes instead of watch the football game. Dishes are fun. <sighs> uh-huh. Yep. Yeah, oh God. <laughs> wow, really, really, really expensive makeup just went on sale at Ulta for the same price as normal. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever makes those videos like that, I mean, think about it. He's got to cut that up, slice it up and everything. Oh, yeah. Watching that made me think I'm pretty happy being a single guy. <laughs> I really did. I mean, I can say the same thing because that's Guys me. That's, just... that's me. Uh, that's me right there. That's me. Yeah. I'd much rather be doing fucking cool shit than that fucking other <laughs> bullshit. Oops. Cool shit is where it's at, everybody. Cool shit. Do cool shit. Cool fucking shit. If you want to find out where us, let's do it. We, I, I accidentally hit the 30 minute one, so we did a 30 minute one. There. I'm alright with that. We went to the Eagles and you didn't fuck yeah, off. Yeah, it was so good. It was so good. Or maybe you did. And you but, watched from afar. But we watched up close. Yeah. We could smell their breath. It was, man. I could, I could see Joe Walsh's teeth almost falling out. <laughs> it was fucking great. They he, were wearing gray sweatpants. I didn't notice the bulge. <laughs> if, if, uh... Those are the kind of guys that I wish I knew all the shit that they did back in the day. Oh, like yeah. If you could go and just hop into them at certain points in time, that would be fucking amazing. You know there's going to be like a movie that comes out like The Dirt? There has to Joe be. Joe Walsh, man. There. That guy is fucking great. Fuck He's yeah. fucking great. Hey, Brent, the kid, this is a going deep show. We thank you for eavesdropping in on our capturing of life. And that's what we do here. 
We want to thank you guys for joining us and being around with us. Until the next one. Sicko.